Hey there everybody, Pete Pardo here. Welcome to another edition of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. Today we're going to take a look in this episode at a very, very cool progressive rock release. This actually came out in 2020. We're a little late to the game getting into this one, but like I always say, better late than never. Uh, this is a debut album from a really, really cool Swedish symphonic prog band called All Traps on Earth, A Drop of Light. All right. So this band is led by none other than Johan Brand. Johan, of course, a longtime member, founding member of Anglogard. All right. So while Anglogard has been kind of really not doing much of anything over the last, like, I don't know, eight years or so, uh, Johan has decided to, you know, form a side project called All Traps on Earth, uh, which includes himself on... Mellotrons and other various keyboards, Fender Rhodes, organs, uh, all sorts of different basses, all sorts of different guitars. He's basically playing uh, bass and guitars and some keyboards. You've got uh, Tomas Johnson on pianos, Mellotron, Fender Wur Rhodes, Wurlitzer, Clavinet, organs, Moog, Moog, sorry, I always want to say Moog, Moog, Voyager. Uh, you got uh, Eric Hammerstrom on drums and all sorts of different percussions. And then you've got Johan's daughter, Miranda Brand, on occasional vocals. And, and her vocals are more kind of like operatic vocalizations. It's not like straight ahead, you know, singing. Uh, so every now and then she pops in with, um, you know, these like soaring kind of operatic, you know, strains and what have you. Uh, here's the booklet here. Okay, got some information on the band, lyrics. Nice cool picture of uh, Johan with all of his uh, his array of stuff here. All these different guitars and Rickenbacker basses and Mellotrons and Moogs and all sorts of stuff. Could you imagine having a room like that where you got all that gear? Pretty cool. Got some guest musicians on the on the album. You got uh, Frederick Lindborg on clarinet, bass clarinet, baritone, tenor, alto, and soprano sax. Uh, Carl Landerson on trumpet and flugelhorn. You've got Magnus Bage on concert flute and uh, Matthias Both on bass and concert flute, tenor and alto saxophone, <coughs> recorders, and Phil Mercy on organic guitars. Not really sure what organic guitars means. Maybe that's uh, acoustic guitars. Don't really know. But so, what do we? What can you expect with this album? Well, if you uh, if you like Anglogard. Chances are you're going to really dig this. There's, uh, you know, obviously the Anglogard influence is heavy on here. Stylistically pretty similar. Um, yeah, in spots you can hear a little bit of Anecdoten or maybe White Willow. Again, kind of uh, more of, you know, their Anglogard's contemporaries. Uh, there are moments of, uh, you know, just big, huge sounding bombastic symphonic rock with uh, all the mellotrons and the keyboards and the big bass swells and the pedals and all that kind of stuff. Um, there are moments where it's very classical oriented. All right, so there's a little bit of that as well. There are some jazzy bits on here, which I think are kind of neat. All right, uh, it's all really epic stuff. You got uh, All Traps on Earth kind of kicks it off. That's like uh, just over 18 minutes long. Great track. Then you got uh, Magmatic Warning, which is 16 minutes and change. That's probably the most kind of jazz meets classical track on the album. Then you got the 13 minute Omen, which has some pretty ominous Mellotron. A lot of great bass playing, nice guitar textures. Uh, first Step is uh, the shortest track at just over two minutes long. And then at the end of the album, you got the big 14 minute epic. I'm going to probably butcher this, but uh, Bort Glomda Gardar, however you say that. Um, good stuff. Really good stuff. Uh, I can see why folks are really taken with this album. Because I think, you know what it is? There's, there are a lot of Anglogard fans out there who just really love that old school prog thing that Anglogard did. And, you know, Anglogard only has the three studio albums out. They've been, you know, they released the two early in the 90s. And then you didn't see them for many, many years. Then they came back with a third one. We're all hoping for another one. But it's just been hard to get these folks together to record more material. Uh, but as a kind of like um, a stopgap to hopefully another Anglogard album at some point in time, all Traps on Earth hits all the right buttons. 
All right, you know, just got the, the looping guitar licks and the big booming Rickenbacker bass and the, the wealth of Mellotron and organ and electric piano and Moog, right? The occasional clavinet, the a lot of percussion here and cool drums, right? The, the, the operatic vocals that kind of drop in and out and, you know, kind of whisper over the musical palette here. Uh, really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. And it's one of those albums that it's kind of a grower. So don't expect to put it on and, you know, think that you're going to digest everything you hear right off the bat because you've got, like I said, all these epic tracks. It's a long album, a lot of material here, but a lot of cool textures. And this is something you want to just kind of put on and sit with for an hour, right? And just and then do it again and do it again and just... Uh, a lot of good rewards here on this. So, All Traps on Earth, A Drop of Light, as it says, Magnificent Symphonic Prague from Sweden. That's exactly what you get here. It's kind of like a little mini LP thing. So, check it out if you haven't. Well worth seeking out. And visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. Coming up, more new product reviews for you today. So, stay tuned for more of those. And lots more on the channel uh, during the rest of the week. So, uh, I am Pete Pardo. See you real soon. Bye-bye.